Hey there, this is Raspberry Pi Pico development board. We already made videos about Raspberry Pi Pico and how to program it with Arduino IDE. So what's now? Here is another board called Visfy 360 by Visnet. This is a Wi-Fi module and exactly the same form factor of ESP12V. So what happens if we combine Raspberry Pi Pico and Visfy 360? You may say a Raspberry Pi Pico with Wi-Fi. Yes, here is the board by Visnet called Visfy 360 EVV Pico which works just like the Raspberry Pi Pico and has Wi-Fi. So in this video, let's see how to program the Visfy 360 EVV Pico through Arduino IDE and also let's control the Visfy through the web server. So let's get started with this video. Here you can see the board which is similar to the lengthy Pico. Same as Pico castellated holes are present. Every pin is leveled perfectly just like Pico. Now let's program this board. We already did that in the Pico programming video. Let's see that once again. First we have to add the board to Arduino IDE. Copy this URL. You can find that from my article. Now go to Arduino IDE. File. Preferences and paste the link here. Now go to tools, board, board manager and search for Pico. Then install this board by L. Philhofer. After that we can see our Visfy boards on our boards section. Next we need to add the Visfy 360 Arduino library. Library link is in the description. After downloading, click on sketch, include library, add zip library and select the downloaded zip file. I already added, that's why this message. So we can see the Visfy examples now. Now we are ready to program, so connect the board with the computer. Now open the Blink sketch and select the board as Visfy 360 Pico and upload. Now you can see the onboard LED is blinking, so that's worked perfectly. Now let's see the examples of the Visfy library. You can see the different examples. We can modify and use these codes. Here is the web server code. In all example codes, the board is defined as Arduino Mega by default. We need to change that into Visfy 360 EVV Pico to program our board. Here is the modified code for controlling the inbuilt LED through a web server. Here I defined the LED and gave the SSID and password. Here are the HTML codes for the interface. So that's it. Now let's upload this code. To find the IP address, I downloaded the advanced IP scanner from Google. So we can find the IP address of the connective Visnet module. Now go to that address and see the interface. Now we can control the LED using web server. That's it, we can make different IoT projects using this module. You can download all the files and codes for this project from my website, link is in the video description. 
So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video.